This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys again. Hello students. So the last time in the previous lesson I talked about variation, characteristics, differences between organisms. And in this lesson again, um, we just go Take. For example, what we eat, where we live, all of them will affect our characteristics and variations, differences between uh, different organisms, all of them will affect. These are environmental characteristics. And some characteristics can be both. For example, height and weight. Also, I talk, um, I talk about height and weight. Here, guys, look, in environmental factors also affect the variation. Here we can talk about habitat. Habitat. What is habitat? Habitat is the place where an organism or organisms live or lives. Okay? The place where we are living. Okay? In this case, let's look our book okay look here guys we have desert habitat arctic habitat or here we have um, a savanna so the different living places affects that um, uh, the organisms um, who are living there okay and also uh, their skin types uh, their feet types the head types all of them uh, the environment, the habitat, the living place has um, a great, a great effect on this. Okay. Um, and here also we can talk about uh, the biodiversity. I mean, one habitat contains not just one species, but it contains a lot of species, a lot of species. If an habitat contains a lot of habitat, for example, let's open the paint here. Let's say we have one habitat here and one habitat here. Let's say one is desert and one is savanna. Here we have uh, 55 different species, 55 different species. It can be plant species, um, animal species, and uh, other species. But here, let's say in desert, we have just 15 species, OK? Here, my question is, which one is more durable? Um, for example, uh, there are some the problems, uh, environmental problems. Um, so new water, new food, or some disasters, environmental disasters. And after this process, if habitat uh, contains more species, it can recover itself easily recover easily uh, for example after this disease 15 species died all of them died okay here also 15 species but after this disease there will be zero species but after disease there will be look after this there's zero species but here guys um they will leave there will be left approximately 40 species okay zero and 40. i mean after disease if it contains more species 
it can recover it easily. So this is called also biodiversity. Biodiversity. I mean, biodiversity is differences uh, between species, different species. If more species are living in given habitat, in given habitat, it means that the biodiversity in that habitat is more. Biodiversity is differences. More different and more different species are living in given habitat. More biodiversity easily recovering from disaster. Okay, so no extinction happen in that habitat. Habitat is um, the place where organism lives. Okay, now let's come back to our um, presentation. These are environmental factors. We talk about this. The next the types of variation. Look, this is these cats are different species. These dogs are different species. Here we can talk about variation within the species, inside one species, and between different species. Look, interspecific variation, variation between species, between species. Look, between cats and dogs. Here, differences are higher, much more. But interspecific variation is variation within the species, within cats and within dogs, inside cats, inside dogs, okay? Um, the variation between cats is less than variation between cats and dogs, yeah? Because they're the same species. I mean, I mean, a difference between the same species are less, uh, less compared humans and uh, let's say, and uh, plants or let's say animals, dogs. Dogs are different species and humans, we are different species. Of course, differences between dogs and humans are higher than the differences between humans. Of course, this is logical, just think about it and uh, you can understand easily. Okay, let's go. And here also we have some examples um, and having a scar from an injury. Of course, this is environment because um, in, in the during your life, uh, you can get this injury. So this is environment, environmental factor. Having red hair, genetics, environment, or both. Okay, it depends. How? Let's say your parents have red hair. So probably this information will send will transfer to offspring. Okay, but also. Originally, you have black color, but you can put a dye to your hair and you can change the color of your hair. That's why it depends. Being tallest in the class at its height, and we told that height can be genetics and can be environmental. If your parents are tall, probably your uh, offspring will be also tall, and also it is. Um, related to uh, finding the enough food. So that's why it is both. Uh, being seen in the class, again, the same thing, this is both. Having green eyes, uh, the eye color, eyes color is genetic information, the genetically uh, transfer from parents to offspring, that's what the genetics. Having a tattoo, of course, originally we, we don't have a tattoo, then we do it, so it is environmental factor. Having lung cancer, it can be both because uh, cancer is the disease that the information coded in the in the DNA and probably this information uh, transferred to offspring. Maybe not the first offspring, uh, but the next, next, and the next generation. Again, it can occur in your um, in, in in generation. Maybe you, your ancestor had this problem, and again the new offspring will get the same problem. Or let's say you're smoking too much and that's why you get lung cancer. That's why uh, it can be count as the environmental factor and genetic, uh, as well as the genetics. So that's why we can consider lung cancer as 
uh, balls. Hair color, weight, and blood group. Hair color is um, both of them will affect hair color, weight also. But blood group, blood group is gen genetic, genetic factors. Uh, just gen uh, genetic information uh, will affect on blood group. That's why blood group we can one out. So let's go to another one. Is um, here again inherited variation or characteristic in inherited from peer. Environmental variations are variations caused by the surroundings. Here we have two, continuous and discontinuous. What are they? Okay, continuous means that, sorry, continuous means that, let's say we have here a limit, line A from mass maybe no limit, A and B. Here we have, let's say, A, uh, B, C, and D. And continuous means that between an A and B, uh, this is your limit. Between A and B, this is your limit. But within the limit, you can get n value and set of possible answers. For example, I, A, B, C, D, and also from here, 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 this one, this one, this one, this point, this point, this point, this point. I mean, which point you want. So this is continuous. I mean, in, the, in continuous one, your measurements can have n value, n value within the limits. But in the discontinuous form, if this is A and B, within the limit, you can get just um, a limit, very limited numbers. For example, A, B, C, and D. That's all. That's all. I mean, there is not a continuous range of measurements that can be made. For example, uh, let's say blood group, blood groups. We have four blood groups. So you cannot choose the next fifth blood groups. Why? Because you don't have it. You have just four blood groups. That's why this is discontinuous. You have just a, a limited set of possible answers. But in the continuous one, you can choose anyone. For example, Height. Let's say human height can be, let's say the limit is between 50 centimeter and three meters. Between this limit, you can choose any number, 51, 52, 52.6, 1.2, 1.12, 1.13, 1.7 uh, centimeter, 1.71, and blah, 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 any number uh, within this limit, 50 and three meters. That's why height, height, is considered as continuous variation. Okay, good. Now, uh, here we have some examples for discontinuous variation. Look, ice color, because we have just, let's say, um, we don't have any uh, any color. We have just black, green, uh, blue, uh, brown. Uh, they are general colors we can observe normally in their life. Also, ruling our tongue. Actually, there's no any specific thing, but there's no any measurement you can make here. Blood groups, they are discontinuous variation. Uh, but in a continuous one, look, height or your weight, they are continuous. Let's say here is sinus, but this one's overweight. It, it is 50 kilogram, but it's 100 kilogram. So your limit is between, let's say, 50, and 100 kilogram. So you can choose 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 99, 85, 85.5 kilogram because uh, the human being can can be, um, uh, can let's say, belongs to any number, okay? This is continuous variation. Here also we have graphs and charts Again, this is the blood type. Blood type is this continuous one. You have just four blood groups. That's why you do not get any, uh, let's say, curve here. But height category is continuous one. That's why you get here curve. I mean, easily see that from the curve. Uh, this is con continuous one because you get 
at different and different numbers. The people, uh, the population belongs to different category. Okay, now we have the last part. Okay, this card. The last part we have, let's go. We told about this continuous, continuous. Um, now, okay, species and hybrids. What are species? What are hybrids? unexpected problems there's no problem they reproduce but different species different species uh, let's say horse and zebra they cannot reproduce different species cannot reproduce for example cats and dogs one cat and one dog they cannot reproduce usually but in rare cases it can happen so reproduction happens between different species, but rarely. For example, between horse and zebra. In this case, you will get new offspring, zebroid, this small and sweet thing, zebroid. It is called hybrid, hybrid. But what is hybrid? Hybrid means that it cannot reproduce. I mean, this zebroid cannot reproduce. If different species reproduce together, new offspring, which called hybrid, cannot reproduce. Cannot reproduce, okay? Here, this zebroid, this gagash, cannot reproduce, okay? This is, let's say, this advantage, maybe it is this disadvantage, maybe advantage, I don't know. This is a natural process. And, uh, the hybrid cannot reproduce, guys. So actually, uh, we finished our topic. No problem, this is this topic, guys. Also here we have some examples, natural eye color, uh, lens of hair, having a scar, having a tattoo, you can choose here which one is environmental factor, which one is continuous, which one is discontinuous. It's easy, I mean, it's easy. For example, natural eye color is, uh, Inherited variation and this continues. Why? Because you have just a few set of possible hair color. Length of hair. Length of hair is, uh, um, it, it can be continuous one. Why? Because the hair, uh, the length of hair can, you, it can be five centimeter, 10 centimeter, 15 centimeter and so on. Here guys, you can work on these examples. And if you have any question, uh, when the schools are opened, um, will open, please, uh, you can ask the question from your teachers. Uh, okay, guys, our lesson finished. Um, so see you next time. See you, inshallah, in our school. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our uh, recording.